I'm Ashlyn and my husband is Zach and we're traveling A to Z. Join us as we go hike and explore the Black Canyon of the Gunnison National Park. So we just got in the car and we are heading on a road trip to Colorado. We made it to the Black Canyon of the Gunnison National Park. We are at the Oak Flat Loop. It's a two mile loop from the visitor center and it's supposed to go around and have a really gorgeous view of the Black Canyon when you get to the other side. So we're checking it out. It's pretty, there's just leaves and vegetation all along this. It's one of the least visited national parks in the whole United States. A little hike, so we're doing the Oak Flat Trail and uh, most of it is through the trees and brush. You can't see anything, but every once in a while you'll get a glimpse of the canyon. It's not as deep as the Grand Canyon, but it's pretty impressive. Those are very steep walls, and it's a whole lot bigger than it looks from here. Those are 2,000 foot canyons. The Black Canyon of the Gunson is in the west part of Colorado. It is a national park that's 12 miles long. It form, it's formed by two canyons, which you could see behind me. It's the river that actually formed the big can, uh, canyon that you see. So some of the areas of the canyon is so narrow, there's only 40 feet between each cliff edge and then the water and the rivers in between. And we're gonna go hike to the bottom tomorrow to the river. I'm not sure where we're gonna go to get down there, but it's supposed to be pretty, pretty treacherous. 2,000 feet drop in about one mile. So hopefully I don't die. Right now we are on the rim road and so we took the first stop which is the Pulpic Rock. It's about a 134 yard walk towards the Black Canyon. Way, way, way in the distance is the visitor center. You can see it. That's where we first started the Oak Loop Trail and now we're driving the rim trail and this is the first stop on the rim trail which is a nice little scenic drive with lots of pullouts. So this is the cross fissures, 357 yards. We're gonna go hike it. Checking out the cross fissure. It's really steep. You probably can't tell from the camera, but that's almost vertical. That's impressive. The cliffs that the water runs through is supposed to be so narrow that you can't get hardly any sunlight in there. And so it's very dark, the walls, because it's so shaded. And that's why they call it the Black Canyon. And if you look, you could just see how steep these fissures are. It's, it's impressive. I don't know if it's true, but I read somewhere that it, the bottom of the canyon only gets light for about 33 minutes a day, just because it is so steep that the sun can't reach. And now we're gonna go overlook the devil. So you can kind of see the river way down there. This is our last stop, Painted Wall. This is the Painted Wall. It's really impressive. It's 2,300 feet tall. It's the tallest cliff in Colorado. And if you put the Empire State Building next to it, it goes to about halfway up only, the Empire State Building. It's that tall. It's really cool. There was a rock that was there and the new like volcanic rock filled in between the rocks and that's why you have different colors. If you were to actually 
cut part of the rock away, it'll have a totally different design than what you see right now. So it's always changing. After a long day hiking and exploring the national park, we decided to find a hot springs. Here we are at Penny Hot Springs. And here's the little trail to go down. Really close to the parking lot, pretty nice. We found a hot spring. It's right off the road. It's called the Penny Hot Springs, but you don't have to pay a penny for it. And it's coming out of the rocks over there and flowing into these little pools. And then we have a river next to us that you can mix the water and get at the right temperature. It's pretty nice. The Penny Hot Springs is off of the scenic byway 133 and it's at right a little bit after mile marker 55. So it's kind of more of a local hidden hot springs. We weren't able to find it on Google Maps, but I just used the directions. And then you walk, I don't know, maybe 20 feet from the um, parking lot down and you come right to a river with multiple different pools. It's pretty nice. So you could see them bubble. You can also smell the sulfur in the air. It's pretty neat. And you get a gorgeous view while you sit in the hot springs. I hope you enjoyed exploring Black Canyon of the Gunnison National Park with us. Please subscribe below to follow more of our adventures.